guys, so today I just wanted to show you um, a few pieces of artwork from before I came to the Lord um, and the difference to now I've come to the Lord, the difference in my art. Uh, it's interesting because recently I've had a little bit of time, um, so I've been painting a lot and um, it's been really nice. But in our house we're getting things ready to potentially move out and some artwork came out of the house somewhere, I don't know where my mum found it. And it's super disturbing, so I warn you guys, um, if you're sensitive to things, maybe don't watch this video. But um, it was just interesting how that's shown up at this point while I've been doing my art more. So I just wanted to share with you what... <laughs> what the expression of the inward self is when you don't have the Lord. Um, when I did this artwork, I was very young. I don't remember doing it. It has my name on it and I, it's very, very strange and it's very, very demonic. And I just wanted to share that with you so then I can show you the transformation what the Lord has done, not only in me, um, but through my expression and my art also, just the, the, the difference is like night and day, um, like death and life. Um, so yeah, this, this is something, this is the stuff from when I was a child, okay? Now bear in mind, I was at this point doing a lot of witchcraft and getting involved in things that I didn't know were dark, but were very dark. And you can just see the mockery of our Lord in this art. So. Please uh, bear with me and don't watch this if, if you're sensitive because it's not nice. But um, just the glory of, of the Lord, what he's done and how he's forgiven me. Even though when I was young I was mocking him. You know, my whole life I was mocking him until I came to him. So this is, this is it here. Um, the interesting thing is I titled it Reluctant Eve like what is that about you know I had no biblical influences around me I was doing witchcraft but yet I'm mocking our Lord um, and there's some just pretty gross stuff for example I apologize in advance right now guys but it just shows how the demonic influences know our Lord um, so there's one of the drawings that I did the pregnant woman um, on the cross. It's disgusting, actually. It's just pure mockery. And um, there's another pleasant demon um, in torture. They seem to always be pregnant. It's very, very antichrist, man. This is just. Mm. She, no, she's. It was torment, it's absolute torment, and um, that's, I suppose, what my life was like without the Lord. Um, another one. Um, looking up to the sky as well with self inflicted wounds. And. Um, like this pregnant and her thighs are tied together and I presume that's blood stains on her boobs and she's crying. It's just, it's horrendous man, it's nothing but demonic. The interesting thing is it's full of torturous images but yet there always seems to be a cross involved. It all seems to be mockery of our Lord and um, I was very young when I did this. Like I said I don't even remember doing it. It just shows the influences of um, of the darkness when you get involved in magic because <laughs> uh, you know it's just the fact that it's, it's very biblical actually reluctant Eve and then the cross and all of that torture it's just it's complete mockery of our Lord and um, I'm sorry Lord I'm so sorry <sighs> but yeah, so that just shows where I was at um, at a very young age. 
and then before I came to the Lord um, the beginning of last year I was in that dark place um, of su suicidal thoughts and, and I was doing a lot of art to kind of just distract myself from the demonic I just was full of full of demonic stuff by that point and um, so this is a little self portrait mm. you know there's, there's a lot of a lot of blood but in a really uh, horrific way very sa it's just very satanic all of this is very satanic and I had a no idea I was serving um, the darkness <laughs> uh, very very deceived and there's things like Viking signs and it's just all very I know this is tattoo work so I suppose that's why it's black and white but it's just the 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 vibe of it is just very um I don't know aggressive and dark I found this very interesting as well you know like um the all seeing eye and stuff but here I've got I'm fine which is a tattoo design I'm fine save me <laughs> you know that was the inner world of me at that point yep I'm fine I'm fine no I'm not I needed a saviour I realised I couldn't do it alone and that's what led me to the truth of Jesus so yeah um, more stuff like the elements so I was just very much of a, a worshipper of creation rather than the creator and um, yeah like psychedelic drug influences um, fairies, it's just all very satanic, um, and then the light side of Lucifer where it looks pretty, but it's all satanic, all of it, and, um, yeah, so, <sighs> that's just an insight <laughs> into my inner world before I came to the Lord, you know, from that young age, just so, so dark and so naive, and I was mocking our Lord without even really knowing I didn't know who was the truth, but yet the demonic did, didn't they, you know? Um, they had me as a fool for so long, <laughs> but not anymore, not anymore, because I've been set free by Jesus Christ. And he, he is the only way, he is the truth and the life, he is the only way. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. So I encourage you, if you haven't already, repent turn away from any other form of spirituality because it's all just demonic, it's all just of Satan. Uh, even if it looks nice, that's the, you know, Lucifer was the light bearer, so he's, he's, he comes as a pretty thing as well. We have to be very, very careful and um, there is no other name we call upon other than Jesus Christ, he's the only way. And so I wanted to show you what I've been doing recently and how my artwork has changed to the glory of Lord Jesus. He's um, just amazing, uh, the transformation with where, where I'm at, with how I express. It's all him, it's all him. And um, so this is one I've been doing recently, which is really cool because I didn't plan anything. It just, it just came out like this. I mean, obviously, stage by stage I add stuff, but I had no idea this would be the way that I'd do it. And so that's the rapture, right? We're all going up to him through believing on what he did on that cross and putting our faith in him. And then the important part here, the kingdom of God is at hand, repent ye and believe in the gospel. So that's um, really important, really important, guys. And um, here's just another little one that I've done. And, you know, just, that's me worshiping in the Lord. <laughs> just beautiful you know the Lord is so beautiful he restores us and just you know the colors and everything that I'm using now because I'm I just I'm so he he restores us he's he's he is incredible so all glory to the Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus so yeah anyway guys I hope you have a lovely day and I hope the prior artwork didn't disturb you too much um that someone like me that was riddled with darkness and drawing things like that, that he forgave me and saved me. So he, you know, he saves. <laughs> Love you guys.